Hi, in this article we're going to show you how to decode a VIN number. To decode a VIN you have a few alternatives such as an online service where you just simply enter your VIN number and you're able to see all the options, engine size, transmission, everything that's basically installed on your vehicle. Uh, if, if you don't find um, what you're looking for, another um, option is to call your dealer and provide the VIN number. They'll tell you everything that's installed on the car or especially if you're looking for a part number or let's say for the color code or the engine number. The other option is to decode the VIN number yourself by simply looking at the VIN. So if you look at the VIN number, the first position, it tells you where the vehicle was manufactured. So basically it tells you the country. The second position, it tells you who was the manufacturer. And the third, it tells you what division of that manufacturer made this vehicle. Now, VIN number positions 4 through 8 tell you things like engine, type and size, transmission, what kind of safety feature the car has, brake system, a lot of these um, uh, things that are installed in the car. And then position number 9 tells you if this is a valid VIN number or not. This is just something that the DOT provides and assigns a logarithm to all these VIN numbers. And position number 10 tells you the year of the vehicle. Position 11 through uh, 17 of a VIN number, they tell you just um, the serial number of the vehicle. This is left up to the manufacturer, so the manufacturer can know things like when and where the vehicle came off the assembly line, um, and those can be assigned by the manufacturers as they wish. They all has to be six um, numbers.